Hello everyone, welcome to Beta Code. Today in this video, we will be talking about how to install uh, Oracle 19C in Windows 11. So the first step will be uh, go to Chrome or any browser and uh, search for download Oracle 19C for windows you can type and then uh, you will get the search result first click on the first search result now here uh, we can see uh, two result options available first one is oracle database 19c for microsoft windows another one is grid in infrastructure so i will recommend the first one only so uh, click on this link and then it will ask for some acceptance so we just click on this and click on download so once you click on download it actually asks to log in into oracle account so if you don't have a oracle account you can click on create account and here uh, you can uh, enter your details and create an account and again uh, go back and log in there so here it will ask for some email address password and your country name job title and company name you can give uh, all the details and then create an account after creating an account you again go to the same thing and here login so i have already created my account so i will try to log in with that one so once you click on this sign in button it will download the oracle 19c folder now go to the downloaded folder here you can see the type of the file is zip file so we will have to first extract it so for extracting just right click on this and then select extract all and select the location where you want it to extract and then click on extract now the extraction is being started uh, let it complete now you can see uh, this file is extracted successfully so to install oracle we have to first open this file now scroll down and go to the last option there is a setup.exe file so just double click on this file and it will ask for a prompt just click on yes now it will open a setup wizard okay so now you can see uh, this install installer is uh, opened correctly and we have to follow the procedure so first option it is asking for configuration option here we have uh, two two options setup software only and another is the default one like create and uh, configure so just uh, keep it default one and click on next uh, once you click on next we have two options desktop class or server class so since we are going to install it for only a desktop uh, and uh, local purpose so we will select the desktop class only now here we we can see three options is there so if you have already uh, existing user or a oracle like you have previously installed a oracle and uh, then you can use this option and if you are new uh, to this oracle you are installing the first time in your pc then you use this option here you will have to provide a username so i will just provide a username as oracle here and put some password so i am putting some password here and just try to remember this username and password because this will be required when you uh, try to access your sql okay so after uh, entering these details just click on next okay so now you can see uh, one option uh, is shown that is oracle base location so here you have to select uh, whichever location you wanted to install your oracle so i will just change this uh, location to uh, c and uh, then i will put the name as oracle 19c something like that and this will be automatically selected if everything is normal password you can put that, uh, put some password new password and try to remember it so i am entering some password click on 
नेक्स्ट ओके सो इट इज सेइंग द प्लेस लोकेशन शुड नॉट कंटेन अ स्पेस सो आई एम जस्ट एंटरिंग अंडरस्कोर और और कल 19 सी इज इट फाइन नाउ it is fine now now you can see one uh, pop up came up it is saying uh, the admin password enter does not conform to the oracle recommended standard uh, just uh, this uh, error is coming because uh, i have just used a normal password i have not uh, followed the standard so just try to keep the normal password so that i can remember later you can follow the standard and put password like that also so you can skip this also like click on yes also that is not an issue and once you click on yes it will start uh, installing the things now click on install now the installation has been started it will take some time to configure all the details so wait for that now we can see that uh, the installation is completed successfully and here we got the close option so once you got this window just close this but before closing this uh, tab you can see there is an url showing so this url is for oracle enterprise manager database express so to open this uh, database manager just copy this url and now open any browser now paste the url copied in the uh, browser and hit enter it will uh, show some options like your connection is not private so just uh, scroll down and click on advanced and here uh, scroll down proceed to localhost so after clicking that you can see oracle enterprise manager database express has been opened so here you have to enter the username and password so username will be system and password just enter the same password that you entered while installing the oracle container name you can put it as empty only and click on login so once you click on login you can see one uh, database express manager is opened and here you can see all the dashboard uh, details performance and performance hub so all the things will be shown here now uh, we can check uh, by running the sql command so to run that just go to the search bar and here search for sql so sql or sql plus you will get an sql plus option so just click on this it will open a command prompt with sql plus and here in the username just enter system and when it asks for password just enter the password which uh, you entered while uh, installing the oracle so i am just entering that and yeah remember that it will not show the password here because it is hidden so just type it and press enter so now you can see uh, this connection is successful and our oracle is installed successfully now you can run the normal oracle sql commands here For example, I will run select a star from tab. So it will show all the table detail. So you can see now these all are showing. So it is installed correctly. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.